Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function list.times. Now what is this list.times? So basically you might have seen that we have function in list to generate numbers, generate date, why not generate time? So let's explore this function. This is going to generate time for us. So let's go to transform data begin our power bi journey from the home tab transform data transform data and we reach to power query and in power query we are going to take a new source from the home tab home tab new source blank query and in this blank query is going to be created here and we are going to call it time let's take on the name and we right click and advanced editor and we are going to manually write down the code for this table so we say list dot times what does it ask for is ask for a start time so our time start from 0 comma 0 comma 0 hash time but fine time is our minutes and second the second one is asking count let's say right now 3600 one hour per second I want to generate you can generate for minutes you can generate for second so let's say one hour I want to generate 3600 so it would be creating one hour and then I say duration it is asking duration so we say okay duration hash duration day is zero hours is zero minutes is zero second is one so one 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 second that is what I want and I say done so you can see I got all the time one second each row is increased so this is what I got. Now what I can do here is sort descending. I can see the complete time sort ascending. Okay. And in fact, let me remove the sorting. I we don't want it. So 3600 has been generated from here. Now same thing if I want set 3624 cross 24. Okay, let's sort it descending. So you see 11 59 59 pm so all the every second of the day has been generated now you can add new columns using this column and you can convert it to table so we say two table and then we got every second of the day with us now. now on top of this you want hour so you can take out the hour and say this is the hour so let's say i want a new custom column on top of it custom column and i want to say hour and I can say time dot hour column. So we take want to take out the hour part of it. Let's see. So this is zero hour. Then we will have one hour. And see, this is thirty six hundred. Okay. So a lot of scrolling is there. So let me sort it descending directly for you. And you can see 23rd hour or 12 hour we want and all those we can do some calculation around that okay so we got the hours also you can have minutes seconds can i generate let's just uh, seconds is too small can i generate for let's say minutes okay i might like to do that so for what what i do for that new source blank query and let me directly do this time advanced editor so again what we'll do list dot times from where we will start hash time all small 0 comma 0 comma 0 our minutes and second all 0 now what we want count now count in terms of minute is 60 for a 1 hour into 24 something like that we want and then what is duration hash duration and what is our duration we have 0 days 0 hours, 1 minute and 0 seconds. That's what the duration we want. And press and, and press done. So done. Now every minute. Similarly hours. And in this table I, I can also add minutes. And so you, you need at a second level, you need at a minute level, you can decide and based then you can do it. And this is really sometimes helpful when you want. See, in Power BI, don't try to combine date and timetable. 
date keep date separately keep time separately join date with date table join time with time table and then use them on different axes or same axis whatever you want now in the time you can have time in second as a number also okay all the seconds number and that can also be utilized for some purpose so go ahead and try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you